Okay, today we're going to look at the Ford Motocraft oil filter number FL1A and the Bosch Premium oil filter number 3500. And I got both of these from Rock Auto. The Motocraft costs $4.05 and the Bosch oil filter costs $4.62. And these two oil filters are going to go at it. Could get ugly, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. This is the network. You gotta glue the silicone, be nice and tight, get your inner ear, filtration, and your ear. Okay, let's start with the Bosch. Okay, I'm just gonna stop the video here for a couple seconds. The picture on the box shows that the inner core has holes, but watch the rest of the video. I didn't notice this until after the video was made. And we'll start with the box. It says 99% efficiency. And if you look over here, you'll see it's rated for 20 microns. So let's open her up, see what she looks like. The date code, F06. M03, and I don't know what that is. That could be an F711. Uh, one, one. I don't know what that number is there. Or letter. It's got a slight dent to it. I don't think that'll harm it at all, though. Okay, we got a sticker here. Look here. Made in USA. Okay, she has six elongated inlet holes with a silicone anti-drain back valve looks like a bypass valve down below metal core with louvers and let's check out the o-ring gasket comes off fairly easy it's a nitro rubber o-ring gasket okay let's look at the motorcraft Motocraft don't really say anything on the box, so we'll just open it up. The date code 9071921116. She also has a sticker. And majority of content made in USA. Also six elongated inlet holes. Which looks like a nitro rubber anti drain back valve. And it looks like it has an upper bypass valve. And it's a metal core. I can't even tell. Uh, looks like louvers. It's hard to see down there. Let's check out the old one gasket. And it comes off fairly easy, too. The nitro rubber o ring gasket. And it's both same size. Base plates look very, very similar, don't they? Yeah. I'm gonna cut these. So I say we cut these babies open, open them up, see what they look like inside. Be right back. Okay, here they are cut open. Let's weigh the Bosch. Bosch weighs 422 grams. The Motocraft weighs 439 grams. Now let's check out the base plates. The Motocraft base plate is 174 grams. And the Bosch base plate is 172 grams let's take a look at these base plates they look identical except for the color Oops, eh, pretty close there's just a color there let's see threads Look like they got about the same amount of threads.
Yeah, I would say they're identical. And actually, check out these O-rings. There's the Motocraft, the Bosch. They look exactly the same. See this? Same O-ring gaskets. Focus in on me here. Oh, I got him twisted around this way. Yeah, you can see they're the same. So I'd say the base plates are the same. Now, any drain back valve, silicone for the Bosch, and the Motocraft has a rubber, nitro rubber. You can see the difference. These like stick it his shape where this is just nice and flexible. Let's see how they cover. And it covers up the holes nicely. For the Bosch. And for the Motocraft. Covers it up nicely too. Okay, the filter elements. Here's the Bosch. And that comes in at 143 grams. And the Motocraft comes in at 152 grams. I'll leave that there for a second. Let's take a look at this. It's got a little string here. It's got a metal crimp seam. And I counted 67 pleats. This is a cellulose media, and the micron rating is 99% uh, at 20 microns. Nice metal end caps. Have a bypass valve right here, which is a, has a setting of 8 to 16 psi. But the pleats are very nicely spaced. Look nice. Okay, how about the Motocraft? The Motocraft, I counted 44 pleats, which is like 23 less pleats than the Bosch. Metal crimp seam. A lot of space in between these guys. We got an upper bypass valve right here, which has a setting of 11 to 14 PSI. Metal end caps. Now let's check out the cans. Well, let's check out these stamp leaf springs. Here's the Bosch. Let's take a look at them. They look exact. Let's weigh them, actually. It should weigh the same. 10 grams. 10 grams. Yeah, they're the same thing. The cans, the Bosch can weighs 92 grams. The Motocraft weighs 99 grams. Now, let's measure their thicknesses. Point forty four millimeters for the Bosch. Point fifty millimeters, uh, point point forty five millimeters for the Motocraft. Almost the same thing. Let's get their widths. The Bosch is three point five eight. Yeah, it's three point five eight. It is wide. 3.34 this way. 
and the overall is 3.96 okay the motorcraft 3.79 oh, I see I probably get that 3.79 inches width Three point three zero inches this way, and the overall four point one one inches. Okay, yeah, there's a little bit of difference here. Definitely, I would say the Bosch is going to be longer, and more pleats. Depends what that center core is like, though. I say we open these babies up, stretch them out, and see how long they are. Okay, so here they are stretched out. And I gotta say, the Bosch is pretty long. The Motorcraft, 64 inches long. And the Bosch is 94 inches long. A lot of filter media. It goes right over my door. <laughs> okay, and here we are at the seams. And I cut a couple samples here to get some measurements. So let's try the Bosch. Bosch is 0.83 millimeters. And the Motocraft, 0.75 millimeters, a little bit thinner. Take a look at them up close. Get it in focus here. Come on, focus up there. See if I can hold it there. Okay, there it goes. They look the same, but... I guess the motocraft's a little bit thinner. And I forgot to give you guys the micron rating for the motocraft. It's 80% at 20 microns. And the Bosch is 99% at 20 microns. Let's look at the rest of the filter. And looking at this filter, I guess I, I would have to go with the Bosch. They, you know, they cost the same. Pretty much, you know, a couple cents difference if you got, get them at Rock Auto. I mean, the only thing I like better on the Motocraft is the upper bypass valve. Other than that, you got silicone and drain back valve. So the cans are about the same thickness. You know, you got the same stamp leaf springs. Um, silicone and drain back valve goes to Bosch. Same base plates. So what do you guys think about these filters? Please post your comments down below. So I think I'll wrap this video up. Don't forget Oil Filter Friday. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care.